guys, here we are checking out mini trucks. Look how look how tiny it is. Oh. Use the right lane to take exit 124 toward New York Route 207 and Goshen. Okay, we're here. Let's see what they have. Ooh, looks like the lot is full. HVNY Imports. And as far as size, they're only, I would say, maybe about four and a half feet, maybe five feet wide. Uh, I am five foot ten. So you see how it's a, a pretty much almost the height of the vehicle. And as far as length, it's probably only about eight nine feet <laughs> it's a very tiny vehicle but you have a lot of cargo space to throw stuff in the back it seats two people it's a right hand drive so the steering wheel is on the right side it's a manual stick shift so you have to drive manual and then like i said this you could fold the gates down load your gear or whatever you're going to put back here tie it up and close the gates and then Paul S. The only thing I'm not crazy about, this doesn't have a battery cover, so somebody could just steal your battery. And so you definitely have to put a lock box or something there to protect the battery. Nice rims. Oh, that's cool. That's a must, but not with these aggressive tires. This is for off road or for the countryside, but a nice street tire. The rack is a must because then we put stuff on top with even a, a light bar. So when somebody you know gets dark in the morning and you want to flash somebody, burn, get out of my way. This one is a Mitsubishi. They have Suzuki, Hijet. Um, I think there's another brand, but they're basically all the same thing from Japan that are all 25 years or older and now that they're 25 years or older now they could be imported into the US and now they're becoming more popular here in the US because uh, they've never had the US has never had a small vehicle like this utility vehicle but you go to Asian countries and they're everywhere they're so popular and you see them carrying so much stuff and loaded with so much stuff it's a practical vehicle because you can get in and out, especially the streets of Japan. That's what they were made for, tight little streets and people to work and do their stuff and deliveries in a vehicle that can handle the weight. I mean, they're not super heavy or like, you know, it's not a huge truck, but uh, very useful. So I want one. <laughs> Thing is you don't need to step on the clutch to start these. So that's turn on. Always lead with the knee. Lead with the knee. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people will put their ass down and try to swing their legs over. <laughs> It's, it's idling high, fast. Once the engine warms up, then you hear it slow down. Then that means it's good. It's not a modern car, you know. You have to take care of these old babies. It has the controls for the AC, but it probably doesn't work. Oh, yeah. It blows, but it probably just needs service. Change, you know, service the AC.
view is good because look, you can see all the way around you without really needing a mirror. Wow, these are cool. <laughs>